Well, viewers, on this episode of the Bar Stars channel, we're going to be showing you something very, very important when it comes to muscle ups. Now, we all know there's different types of muscle ups, different grips, different styles, chicken wing. We don't want that, but if you need to get started, then chicken wings are right. But on this muscle up, it's very important when it comes to freestyle. Because in freestyle, you're not going to pause, right? That's going to be shitty. So what you want to do is you want to go from one motion into the next, into the next. So it's very difficult because we have to basically go against gravity using our core. So I'm going to give you guys a short demonstration on the bar of what I mean. So there's not going to be any backswing at all. So straight, you're going to get your feet as far as you can. From there, you're going to bring your feet up to the bar and muscle up. So it looks like this. Well, not muscle up, I'm sorry. Just bring your feet all the way up to the bar and back down. So, go out, feet to the bar. Out, feet to the bar. Out, feet to the bar. Now, if that's too difficult, you know, you can do it the simple way without having to keep your feet out as far. So you're just gonna try to bring your feet up to the bar. If you need to bend your knees, that could, that could be even easier. If you want more challenge, Try to keep your legs nice and straight, okay? Remember, the goal here is to be as far away from the bar with, with our feet so that when we come back, we're gonna bring our feet up to the bar and as we hold it up there, once we begin to swing forward, then we release our legs. So you're not just bringing your feet up. You have to hold it there long enough so you can swing back, all right? If that's too difficult, what you want to do is just practice doing the same thing with your knees. So you're going to hold your feet up nice and far, move your knees up and out. Knees up and out. So if you notice, I have to hold it for a short amount of time so I can project myself back out. Now this is very important when it comes to doing explosive motions on the bar. So for example, if I were to do a muscle up, come back down, out, then I go right back up using that same technique. So this is very, very beneficial when it comes to flow. If you try to connect one motion, 360, muscle up, reverse, whatever, over the bar, you're always gonna do this motion when it comes to the bar. And I'll give you a short example of what I mean by that. Now I'm not gonna go ham on the bar, but I just wanna give you a demonstration of what I mean. So, muscle up, jump out, feet go up, out, feet go up, out, okay? So if you noticed, I didn't swing back. When I, well, I did swing back, but when I did swing back, my feet went straight up to the bar, and I showed you that same motion. So if you wanna get good at that, then just try to work on getting reps, all right? So you wanna try to get 10, you wanna hold your feet out as far as you can, right? So you can't go as far. From there, you just pick your feet up all the way up, Boom, out, boom, out. Try to get 10 reps, three sets. What would it look like if we didn't utilize that explosive leg raise? Well, it would be a lot more difficult to get up there, that's one. And two, it would take a longer time to get right back up, right? So I'm gonna actually try one without bringing my legs up from the top, so muscle up. Let's see, I just caught the bar, come down, legs are straight. It's a little harder. Now, if I wanna be faster in this transition, I would use the explosive leg raise. So, down, see how fast I got up? And from there, you can transition, transition into another motion, another move, a 360 of a flyaway or up up to the bar over the bar you name it it's a it's a way to utilize your momentum so it's like exactly because if you don't do that explosive leg raise you kind of kill it and you have to start it all over again again every time right exactly so that's why guys it's very important that we control that core to bring those legs up so we can utilize that momentum to bring us back upward would you say that uh would you say it's better to do like strict muscle ups to, for your actual workout and then this explosive knee raise uh, style muscle ups for your freestyle? Yes, absolutely. There are different variations of muscle ups. 
and we should all get comfortable on all of them. You know, if, wh whether it's this type of muscle up, wide muscle up, close muscle up, cross grip, every variation of muscle up. And there's also strict muscle up, there's also slow muscle up, and big momentum muscle up. All right, we gotta get comfortable with all types of muscle ups, especially if you're trying to get your freestyle on. When you're doing clean, it's a different story. Because clean, there's no legs going up. Your legs are gonna be nice and straight. All the way up. So remember, don't get confused. There's different types of muscle ups. So you could do clean and you could do uh, this style you just showed. Absolutely. And do you feel like uh, practicing both puts any hindrance on the other? Like does one hurt? Being really good at one hurt the other? Well, there's uh, control, right? The strict muscle up. Then there's explosive. With explosive, you wanna use as much power as possible. But you feel like you could do both accurately, like good. You could yeah. be good at both, like you are. As long as you train for it, that's all it takes, you know? I didn't get to this level, you know, in one day. It took months, days, years of training. And I train hard, you know, I, I grab the bar every day. I promise you, every day. People think that's, that's a joke, but I'm serious when I say that. I touch the bar every day, try to get at least 100 reps of something. Whether it's the bar, the floor, or something. As long as you get your body moving, your body will get used to it. And then it will adapt to make that motion easier. AKA making you stronger. To give like a, an example, so, so you work out seven days a week. Yeah, man, look at that. That's why I can't go ham. Woo! It's a pretty one. So seven days a week. Let's say, uh, how many days of the week are you practicing strict muscle-ups? And how many days of the week are you practicing these kind of muscle-ups? Or do you practice both every day? I do practice both. I wouldn't say every day. Some days I feel like going more static. Some days I want to do control. Some days I want to do explosive. So I kind of like, I like to listen to my body. I try to train for my weaknesses. And so I can be all around, you know, powerful in, in one, instead of 50-50 or whatever. So you'll be strong and have agility? Yes, that's very important. You wanna be an athlete in what we do, you know, you gotta be comfortable with all aspects. Cool, all right, thank you for that. All right, bar starts out, get a couple reps.